And for those of you who are curious about the auto deagle, oh my god yo what's poppy gamers welcome back to a brand new bad business video and today we got quite a bit to go over firstly the brand new skins that are going to be in for characters is the egghead also the pink creature these are some easter skins that we didn't get yet so uh, ethan decided to just throw this in and also we got a new melee as well as the two weapons that we all already talked about in our previous video about the update uh, that is going to be coming but we're going to go over all the attachments for you guys show you the sounds and the recoil and all of that but first up we are getting a brand new butter knife in uh prestige zero actually level seven that you unlocked this at basically going to be a tanto uh reskin essentially it's going to have tanto animation but it's still a butter knife either way also for those of you that care about the butter knife here's the animations for it it's the same as the tanto but that's what that's looking like. Honestly, I'm fine with this because it's a butter knife. <laughs> I'm I'm okay with it having the same animation as something else. Let's say they added in like uh, like a bayonet, right? I would want different animations. So I can see how some people may be upset for something as simple as a butter knife. I mean, there is some cool things that you can do with it. Like maybe you pull out a piece of toast and you put butter on it. But that's more of like a legendary style animation. Also, a lot of work for an anim animation. Alrighty, here is the ELK recoil. And also the sound of the weapon. I'll show you the reload one more time. Not gonna lie, I really do like the sound of the weapon. Alrighty, and for the marksman conversion on this, this is what the recoil kick is looking like. And then I'll also... God darn it. This is what the recoil kick's looking like. And then me shooting as fast as I can. There's quite a big delay between each. But this is supposed to be very, very brutal. But in terms of a weapon attachments, we're going to go with the GLK first. But nonetheless, let's get straight into all the attachments. One thing I will say is that the exact stats that these are doing uh, is not official. Uh, they could be changed at any point in time. But I'm pretty sure Ethan's pretty happy with the pros and cons of every attachment that he's uh, put in here so far. But I doubt any of that's going to change at launch so we're just gonna go over the pros and cons we're not gonna go through actual stats anyways first up marksman barrel for pros we have in increased range for cons we have decreased mobility and recoil control that's what that is looking like next is the invader barrel for pros we have increased recoil control uh, mobility and handling and for cons we have decreased range and that's what that's looking like in game i'm happy uh with this like more of like a polymer style color instead of a wooden one i prefer this next up is the tactical barrel uh for pros we have increased recoil control decreased visual recoil and increased piercing and for cons we have decreased handling that's what that's looking like in game this comes with the optic as well uh just so you guys know and next up is the viper barrel this is my personal favorite one favorite one uh design wise i don't know exactly how this is gonna hold up in terms of like actually building a setup but for pros we have integrated suppression and increased hip fire accuracy for cons we have increased recoil and that's what that is looking like in game and uh, lastly for our barrels we have shrouded barrel this is going to increase your fire rate uh, but for cons it's going to decrease damage at range and decrease hip fire accuracy that's what that's looking like also yes you will be able to equip attachments or not attachments under barrels on these uh, if you're using something like this, if you put a grip on, it'll add a little attachment here uh, so you can put your grips on. So I'll show that just in case anybody's interested in how grips work on this. Next up is our ammo conversions. First up, we have Rusty Bolt uh, Shortened Conversion. And the pros for this is increased reload speed, mobility, and handling. And for the cons, we have uh, decreased magazine capacity. And that's what that's looking like in game. Next up is the Rusty Bolt Conversion Magazine, which is the full capacity version of the one that we just talked about. But this one does increase damage, uh, increase range, and also delays enemies health regain, which is huge, by the way. And for the cons, we have decreased hit fire accuracy. And that's what that's looking like. And and lastly my personal favorite i'm excited to use this do a build with this but the marksman conversion for this we have infinite range increased damage and also increased piercing for cons we have decreased hip fire and decreased fire rate but that's what that is looking like i really want to do a build with this so expect a setup video on this specifically or a video based on you know sniping with this next up is stocks uh, to start things off, we're going to go with the retracted stock. For pros, it's increased ADS mobility and increased handling. That's what that's looking like. Next is the full stock. This is decreased base recoil. And for cons, it's decreased mobility and decreased handling. That's what that one's looking like. Marksman stock, 
This one has pros decreased vertical and also increased recoil control. And for cons is decreased ADS mobility and decreased mobility. That's what that's looking like. This is my personal favorite uh, build in the game. Like not actual build, but aesthetically, this is my favorite looking build for it. And lastly, the minimal stock pros increased flinch resistance, decreased horizontal recoil. And for cons, it's decreased handling. That's what that's looking like. Here is the Deagle in game. Uh, it is keeping the same animations as the old Deagle. Here is the sound. Here's the reload. I personally think the old animations fit this perf perfectly. People aren't happy with it, but I am. Uh, here's the ADS irons, as well as the recoil. I'm letting it recenter here, and now I'll shoot without letting it recenter. That's basically what that looks like. And then I'll also throw on the auto conversion with this and also the other conversions for the other guns. Oh my God, he got me with it. And then this is me aiming without controlling it. Oh my God. And then me trying to control it. <laughs> Dude, oh, this is gonna be funny. This is without any attachments helping with this, by the way. This, that's just the only barrel attachment for it. That's it. Next up, what I'm personally super excited to actually grind on stream, as well as the GLK, we're gonna be using both. Uh, equally pretty much but i'm super excited for the deagle revamp because i've been waiting uh to try another hand cannon that is as brutal as like the magnum in terms of you know one tapping to the head so i'm super excited for this but for attachments uh you have every attachment slot avail available here except for the under barrel you'll get a grip for this if you put the automatic conversion on but it's a built-in grip and we'll show that here in a second but yes here is what the deagle is looking like in game let's go ahead and go over all the attachments again like i said the pros and cons of all these attachments i think ethan's pretty happy with all of them things could change but i watched him do it all on stream he seemed pretty happy with all of it but in terms of stats how much is increasing or decreasing certain things that is not a hundred percent that could change at any point but let's go ahead and start with the brand new muzzles we have the stabilizer this will decrease camera shake increase flinch resistance but for the cons it will decrease recenter speed and this is exclusive only to the deagle you won't see this on other weapons and next up is the beak uh this will uh increase the piercing increase recoil control but the cons is slower weapon kick which will be harder to get an accurate shot after the next shot if you're if you're aiming down sight if you're hip firing this won't affect you all righty going into the barrels you guys already saw all of these in the renders but i'm going to go over all of them uh in terms of pros and cons also show you guys what they look like in game and not just on render but first up the tactical barrel uh, we have pros, decreased recoil, and cons, decreased hip fire accuracy, and that's what that is looking like in-game. Next up is the medium barrel. For pros, it's increased recenter speed and faster weapon kick. Uh, that means it'll be much easier for you to reset and, you know, aim at the next person after you fire your weapon while aiming. Uh, hip firing, it shouldn't be a problem or help in any way. For cons, we have increased recoil and slightly decreased range. That is what that's looking like. Next up is the extended barrel. Uh, the pros for this increase range and for cons, it's decreased mobility, decreased handling and increased kick. And that's what that's looking like. Next up, heavy barrel, my personal favorite. I'm so excited for this. Um, it's not going to be too great in terms of pros and cons, but it's just, it's more for the looks of it. For pros, we have increased bullet velocity, which is not a terrible thing to have. And for cons, we have decreased mobility and slower weapon kick. And there's the long barrel. We love this. And lastly, the one that everyone cares about uh, and is really interested to see how it works is the Enrager Barrel. This increases fire rates and gives you an automatic fire mode. For cons, it's ADS, ADS inaccuracy and increased recoil and decreased damage. And that's what that's looking like in game. Next up, we do have uh, three trigger options since this is a hand cannon. First up, we have the tactical trigger. The pros of this gives you a faster weapon kick and cons is reduced center, recenter speed. Next up is the lightened trigger. Uh, this increases fire rate and cons, it decreases hip fire accuracy, reduce recentering speed. Forgot to show you guys the tactical trigger, but that's what that's looking like. And also the light lighten trigger. That's what that's looking like. And lastly of the trigger is the heavy trigger. This increases recentering speed, but cons a slower weapon kick and increased recoil. Uh, and that's what that is looking like. Next up, the one everybody was super interested in, in terms of ammo, we have the 0.44 conversion mag. This increases fire rates, decreases recoil, 
and also decreases camera shake but the cons is decreased limb slash torso damage and then there is another con here that doesn't display anything and it looks like this gives you one extra bullet so you're not getting too big of a uh, advantage here next up we have the 0.44 extended magazine for pros it's increased magazine capacity and for cons it's decreased reload speed mobility and handling so you're you're getting a lot of punishments there for only a few more bullets so you you start at seven and then you get 12 if you throw this on so if you feel that that's worth you know getting all those three negatives uh, or cons that's up to you next up is the pistol stock uh nothing too crazy here for pros you get decreased recoil and decreased weapon kick and for cons you get decreased ads speed and decreased mobility and that's what that's looking like in game and a lot of people were really mad at me for, you know, using the Glock stock for this. But I'm going to be honest with you, the other stock options I wasn't really happy with. And the only one that I actually like is too perfect to have it in game because it fits a certain legendary perfectly. So if you take that away from the legendary, it kind of ruins the whole purpose of that legendary skin. That's why I went with this. And I apologize for not you know, making you guys happy with the stock option here. But yeah, that is all the stuff that's going to be in the brand new update. You guys have an idea what the pros and cons of every attachment is going to be. Uh, hopefully this will be helpful to everybody and maybe for them to try to build a setup just based off the pros and cons. They have something to go straight for as soon as this releases, hopefully tomorrow on Saturday, if not Sunday. Uh, but yeah, I should be live uh, right after this video as long as it goes up before i go live right, anyways thank you guys so much for all the support recently i really do appreciate it uh, i'll see you guys again in tomorrow's video and stream anyways peace out